Loki is definitely in between like two different TVAs, bro. Timeline wise, or not even, maybe, I don't know. I don't know. I just need answers. All right, he's in the right one for now. What is. Oh my god. Okay, so he. Okay, all right. Now this makes sense. Okay. Finally, an MCU related show that I'm sure we can all get behind. It is no secret, but I'm sure Loki's about to go back and invade all of our hearts again. You see what I did there? Motherfucker. And take over what's going on because, uh, let's be honest, I don't think a lot of people have been that fond of what Marvel has been doing, especially with the TV show side of things. But that's okay because Loki season two is finally here to save us all and to remind us why MCU is cooking and i'm sure whatever happens from this season it will kind of reset the tone going forward and i'm really looking forward to seeing what ends up happening from here on out so without further ado let's get right into it <laughs> oh man Oh, you know it's serious if they're not playing the, the usual theme song. Oh boy. Let's see. I definitely wanna know how when he 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 got sent back. I don't even understand. Like, how did all of, all of a sudden all these Kangs just come out of nowhere? You know, I hope they explain that. And why they don't remember him. I feel like he got sent to like a, an alternate TVA or something like that. What the hell? What are the odds he literally falls into a flying car? How convenient is that? Shout out to this guy. I call him the stone man. He just had that collection of infinity stones. I remember in season one. What is that logo? Damn, they really don't remember him. What is happening? Bro, how is he just... I don't know what's going on. They got some explaining to do, man. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Okay, so this is where I think he should have went. Oh, there he goes. Back again, once again. Damn, those branches are still going crazy. Yo, what if Kang is in the war room? Mood like in there. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> no answer. That's, I guess it's not a good thing then, huh? Yeah, that's a crazy effect. Dude, I don't understand, like, how his presence just automatically just surfaced. Like, it was always there the whole time. Is this guy sleeping? <laughs> Loki is definitely in between, like, two different TVAs, bro. Timeline-wise, or not even, maybe, I don't know. I don't know. I just need answers. I don't even want to try to make sense of what I'm seeing. Quite a <laughs> no way! Renslayer. Renslayer and Kang teaming up. Robot head on the table. This changes everything. Well, no shit. The timekeepers weren't even real, idiot. <laughs> <laughs> this guy sleeps. All right, he's in the right one for now. What is? Oh my god. Okay, so he. W okay, all right. Now this makes sense. Okay, I thought he was about to prune himself for a second. Nope, I don't like them. They're sus. I didn't ask who won, but it was a draw. <laughs> of course it was a draw. He wiped your memories. Yup, that makes perfect sense. What do you mean in the past? Where in the past? Here, here, the past TVA. Ah, uh, yep, yep, okay. That makes sense, that makes sense. What? You can't trust that. Yo, Miss Minutes keeps check on everybody he who remains i understand it will get to that in order to do that i need a loki who remains we i need a loki who remains i like that you just disappeared i know and i can't keep looking at it because it's hard <laughs> how does it look <laughs> that would have been a perfect stanley cameo rest in peace i have no memory of my memory being wiped of course you don't that's the point wow great to see you again mm-hmm ouroboros i've heard this name 400 years feels like a thousand right yeah. stop damn this guy has a yeah. godlike memory believe it or not he was my last visitor oh okay that's how you remember ob wow time slipping time slipping you, you've seen that yeah can you fix it <laughs> no <laughs> i like ob he's funny may i call you ob ob <gasps> I like that. Did Loki give him it? Oh, nah, that's, nah, that's crazy. I've been time slipping. 
in the TVA. It's impossible to time slip in the TVA. This is crazy. <laughs> I've seen anything close to that happen before. Okay, wait, what? No. There was one time. Yes, yes. This is so godlike. One temple or extractor. Get out of here. Wait, can you hold on to that until my friend Mobius drops by? No. Wait, yes? What the fuck is happening, yo? This is crazy. After you clean yourself, the extractor will pull you into the present. What the hell? We're having power surges all through the TVA. What? Uh oh. He triggered something. Oh god. I feel like Kang sent him to the past so that he could see that he is the one who built everything and blah 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 and that's the reason why he was going like back and forth through time because kang still put him on that path like he said in the first season he paved the way for him to essentially prevent all the other bad kang since he was i guess one of the good ones time is refined into physical timelines. what how do you that is amazing if doors close we won't be able to resync you so it's now or never. To, uh, the, the stress right now. This is OD. You've got about an hour. You've got about five minutes. Wow. It went from an hour to five minutes with that crack. Loki, you better hurry the hell up. I might make it oh my god. This is what I'm talking about. You can't be you can't be wasting time. It's crazy how he time slips in the exact position. How was that wait? Nah, son. Something's not right. He just wrote that in the future. It's the future. It's the oh! Bro, what the fuck? He put a piece of duct tape. So with Loki seeing that skin mentioned that he left on that device, I would assume that they succeed in this plan, right? So that must mean that the TVA literally exists outside of time if they're able to physically see time streams. Because that's, 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 how, how do you even do that? That's insane. That's like almost on some like watcher type shit. That'd be crazy if we saw like a watcher character, like from What If. We technically did see a couple watchers in that one Stan Lee cameo. I forget what movie it was, but I, I, I recently saw that. Holy shit. Bro, he needs a time stick. It's about to go green, isn't it? Ah, oh, damn it. Mobius, you have 30 seconds. Oh my god. Why are you walking? Why are you walking? Yo, what if Kang is calling? Is that Sylvie? Holy shit. What the hell? Who pruned him? Wow, he just barely made it. Who pruned them though? That's what I want to know. That's a lot of freaking... What the hell? That is a lot of people. Nah, nah, nah. They're, they're gonna meet up with a Kang. Man, that's crazy. What a great first episode coming back. The stress levels are OD, let me tell you. Oh, yes, we got after credit scene. 1982. It's a branch timeline. Who's she about to encounter? She's in a, in a McDonald's right now. Something that's already dead. Nothing with a face. Please. Um. Do, does her temp pad work is what I need to know. Because if her temp pad works, then all that means is that she could obviously go wherever she wants to go, which would be nice. But like, because I highly doubt she's just going to live out her life starting in the 80s. That would be kind of OD. Because if I'm not mistaken, isn't she like actually supposed to be the character Enchantress? And I'm only saying this because I seen her in marvel snap but yeah i guess to elaborate a little bit more on what i was saying prior i really think that when she opened up a door for loki to go back to the tva i'm pretty sure that was still a part of kang's paved road that he set out for them because if he literally did as he did which i totally 100 percent believe i feel like he absolutely would have at least had something in place so that he could see how things were so loki could understand the the big threat that was gonna happen i guess when you think of it like that it, it does make some sort of sense if you remember in season one that kang was like tired like he said and he just didn't want to do what he was doing anymore he wanted them to kind of take over in his place but instead they killed him and as a result i'm sure that the other kangs will become aware and that's when this whole crazy multiversal war and all that will 
you know, start to happen. Oh man, but this is awesome. I, I'm just very happy that Loki is back. This is such a great show. And the only thing that sucks right now is that we have to wait each week for it to come back for at least another like five or so episodes. So we shall see what happens. I'm pretty set on keeping up with this. I'm not even gonna lie. And I have never, I've never done reactions to like an MCU show. So this is actually gonna be really exciting. So I hope you guys stick around for the ride and for the experience because uh, Loki has not upset. It always lives up to the hype. And like I said at the beginning of the video, I'm pretty well aware that whatever happens from here will definitely set the tone going forward with all of the phases in marvel so I'm, I'm i'm hella excited but let me know what you guys thought about this first episode your favorite moments what you didn't like maybe what you're probably looking forward to with some predictions just leave them all in the comments like share subscribe hit me up supporting links are going to be in the description as always make sure you guys are taking care of yourselves may the power protect keep it locked loaded right here on this channel stay safe stay clean stay in the hell inside and i'll see y'all next time